What's going on guys, back here with another video. I know it's been a really long time. I haven't been real active on YouTube as much as I have been on my Instagram page dedicated to this build. Uh, so just kind of a recap for everybody that's new or been out of the loop for a while. Uh, this is a project that started last March 2021. Uh, and uh, it is of the USS Saratoga uh, CV-60, which is an aircraft carrier. And this will be donated to my local VFW. It'll be on display there for a while. Then it's going to go to a couple museums and a couple shows. Then it'll be donated to them. Uh, plan is to have the deck done by uh, July of next year. Um, eventually, once it's done with the shows, I'm going to, as it's at the shows, I'm going to have everything measurement wise made. And I'll start the actual bottom of the ship, the hole. Uh, while the deck's on display, but I also got a GoFundMe for this project. Um, most of this stuff has come out of my boxes as a kid. Uh, I'm 23. I've been building with Legos since I was four or five. I have about eight or nine huge boxes of Legos. Um, but I have bought some things and uh, some got some sponsorships like the lighting, uh, sponsored by Brick Stuff Lighting. So please go check them out. Uh, but the biggest thing is these tiles. Um, I had a truckload of these, but I've run low and I've actually had to buy some. This is coming up. Um, and I still need a quite, quite a bit more to finish this deck. Plus I still got the angled deck. Uh, I've got a table built that'll be going in next to it. But anyway, so if you want to help out that way you can too, but let's jump into this. Um, uh, first of all, happy Thanksgiving to all. Uh, I'll try my best to start doing these post a uh, new video at least maybe once one or two a month would be nice uh, it's kind of crazy but anyway let's get into this and we'll start out with some of the changes so first off I've got these custom printed tiles that says USS Saratoga's CV-60 Vietnam War 72-73 this build is actually of the Saratoga which saw service in Vietnam from 72 to 73. Uh, it spent most of its time in the Mediterranean Sea before and after Vietnam and served in Desert Storm before it was scrapped here in the mid 2000s. Um, it was decommissioned after Desert Storm. But anyway, so we got that. We've got, uh, if you're wondering what this yellow crane is, um, uh, it's what they call a, a uh, scrap salvage or uh, salvage and recovery crane um, and I've got pieces coming that'll be yellow here but basically it'll be on the side of the deck each aircraft carrier has one in case of a plane crashes in the water or crashes on the uh, deck it can recover it um, and this is the 70s 80s style 60 70 80 style because this is you know that air so that's what that is um, other thing that's been done is I put in these grill tiles here, uh, one by two, uh, modified tiles. I call them the grill tiles because they look like, like grill plates for a car as the, um, catapult, uh, launch rail. So as you can see, I've got the F4 Phantom, uh, VF31 Tomcatters taking off here with, on, with the blast shield. And I got an A6, uh, Sunday punchers, uh, taken off here as well. A6 has got uh, six Mark 82s with long fuses, two uh, fuel drop tanks, and then one uh, walleye uh, TV guided uh, smart bomb on the belly. Uh, the F4 has got its four sidewinders, four sparrows, and one center tank, and two uh, walleyes. As you can see, I've also got the, uh, the meatball, as it's called, the uh, Oles lighting, the optical landing system lights, still a work in progress, and it's not permanently going to be sitting there, just there to kind of provide extra lighting. Uh, we've got some other ordinances just sitting around on the deck at the moment. Another big change is the elevator has been expanded a little bit and completely marked out. So we've got the Sea King, which is getting a little bit of maintenance work done back here. Kind of hard to tell this angle. There we go. And um, we've got a SEAL team, which one of my guys just fell over. Um, 
prepping for a mission. Uh, we've got one of the, uh, the, the jerseys, as they're called, uh, the yellow, green, blue, purple, red. Uh, yellow, as they're called, the shooters. They basically traffic the aircraft. We got one here with the wands. We've got the MD-3 tug. Now, all the aircraft, except one back here, are designed, uh, are bought from Nick Brick Glory. Uh, please check him out. Um, I'm going to build a few aircraft, but he's doing most of the aircraft so that I can focus on the deck. But anyway, uh, we got some more Mark 82s over here. We got a Snap-on Toolbox. Uh, there's the Sea King. Uh, it's got the tails. All that stuff can be opened up. Uh, We've got the A4 Skyhawk back here, which technically in 72 and 73 did not exist on a Saratoga. Yes, the A4 existed in real life, but they phased them out off the Saratoga and they were replaced by the A7 Corsairs, which I do plan to have on here as well. But the A4 holds a special part of me. Uh, so I'm gonna keep a couple on here, probably four, fleet of four. Uh, this will be the only one that lights up but it's got Mark 82s on the wings with longer fuses and it's got um, dark emerald green Mark 82s on the belly and then two fuel drop tanks. Um, and then they are the VA 216. Um, I got my custom A4 back here on this rear, eleva rear elevator. I'll get out here in a minute, which is new. Uh, there's two aft elevators. We've also got the ordnance elevator back there. We've got my welder who will be uh, where the forklift and the uh, crane will be. Since the last update, um, I've added the uh, smokestacks or the exhaust port stacks, which if you're wondering where I'm getting a lot of my information, I've got a huge binder and I actually have the blueprints to the Saratoga. Uh, but this is a picture uh, of some of the stuff of what the Saratoga looked like. Uh, during the 70s, it had this style of uh, stack where it was slanted and curved. Uh, later on in its years, uh, it was curved on the sides but not sloped back, if that makes sense. Uh, I've started getting in the uh, flag mass lines. We've got the, uh, the other thing that's new is this big, uh, you probably see my Christmas tree over there, and some more kits, but uh, this, part up here uh, with more radars and antennas and stuff like that. We got the back here. I've still got to add different catwalks back here. Uh, first off, before I do any of that, ooh, just ran into that. It does have a motor that runs the main radar here. And thanks to Light My Bricks, it has sound. Come on. And the sounds are actually from a vinyl record of the USS Saratoga that I uh, copied over the MP3 file to put on here. So, pretty cool. Got lucky with that too. I've got all kinds of different things. I think there's like 20, 20, 25 different sounds on here, including I go far enough. I got Top Gun on here, Danger Zone. Um, like I said, there's 20 or 30 different ones on here. Landings and takeoffs, helicopters taking off, so stuff like that. So I think that's new. Uh, there's a battery box inside, the chipboard is right here, and then the speaker's actually mounted on the outside with uh, 3M sticky tape. We've got a sailor down here fishing. Um, but what I was going to do was I'm going to take this off, put the camera down, and do this with two hands. I say that, and then it's going to call me a liar. It's going to call me a liar. There we go. Um, so in here, I've got the pilot briefing room, and under that, under that which just comes out to, uh, you can see I've got different flags, a classified file, and the uh, 
CO's hand, um, or Air Wing Commander's hand. Uh, underneath that is bunkers, or not bunkers, but like bunks and stuff, different rooms. Um, this roof, however, does not come off, but we do have uh, sailor uh, commanding officers and officers in there controlling the flight deck. In here, these do come off, but I'm not gonna take them off at the moment. But we've got the bridge and some more planning and controls um, and stuff like that. So if we come over to this side, um, we've got a NJ-1 bomb loader, Navy style, which the Navy never used them on an aircraft carrier, but it's so cool, I like it. I'm keeping it. I have this custom printed remove before flight uh, tag on here. I've got a ladder. Uh, by Berkmania, it's their design. I just copied it on my own parts. Um, as you can see, I gotta get some of these tiles down. Um, but there's the side, I've got the 60 there on the uh, wall there. And then I've got the Beware of Jet Blast and Props and Rotors logo down here. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, other than that, like I said, that's pretty much it. Um, may not seem like a lot. I know it's been a while. There's been some updates, but uh, it's pretty much it for this video. Um, it's pretty much all that's really changed. Uh, a lot of tiling, and that's been the, the fun part, is getting the tiles. And when you get them in and you guys sit there and place them, it's a lot more pain than you would think. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, any questions, uh, if you want to support the GoFundMe, I'll put a link to that and the Saratoga, my Instagram page dedicated to this, which is where I post mainly. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching and see you all in the next one. Bye for now.